Hi, I'm Kim Goyette, and I'm so glad you're joining me here for Yoga with Meditation Mother. Today, we're going to be doing a yin yoga practice to really feel grounded in our root chakra. So let's get started. Yoga for everybody with Meditation Mother. So our root chakra is the very base of our system and our energy centers, and it allows us to feel very grounded, safe, and secure. So we're going to be focusing on the lower body, mainly the hips, below all the way the legs and the feet, just feeling really grounded in our system. So let's start by gently closing the eyes and taking a moment to feel your connection with the earth. Noticing your seat on your mat. We're going to take a few breaths, just allowing that connection with the earth, feeling fully supported. And start to visualize roots moving down into the earth from your body. Really digging into the soil, being firmly planted. And allowing those roots to expand into the ground providing some stability for your body, your mind, your spirit. And with those roots feeling very safe and secure in the earth, start to invite your breath into the body a little more fully. And on an inhale, start to expand the body up towards the sky. On an exhale, softening down, again, grounding into those roots. And on an inhale, lengthening the body, growing tall, expanding. We'll do that a few more breaths, exhaling, softening more towards the earth. And on an inhale, rising up to the sky. Let's do a few more breaths on your own. Good. And when you're ready, gently softening the breath, opening the eyes. So we'll sit in any comfortable seat. If cross-legged is not for you, feel free to extend the legs. But what we want to do is really, again, get grounded in our sits bones, which is our connection with the earth. So we're going to lean to one side and pull the flesh of the bottom out to one side and sit. And do the same thing on the other side and just rock back and forth until you feel your sits, bones ground, sits bones grounded into the earth. Bring your fingertips out nice and wide. We're going to reach that right arm straight up to the sky and over to the left. So notice the instinct of wanting to raise that right hip off the mat. What I invite you to do is just push down more with your right hip into the earth. Again, feeling planted, rooted into the ground as we expand in the opposite direction. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, bring it back to center. Let's try the other side. So this time, left arm up, reach it over to the right and drop that left hip down, really grounding in. Good, take a few breaths here, feeling heavy in your body and release all the way down. Let's take that right arm up. We're going to bring it over and clasp onto the left knee, reach back behind and look over the back shoulder. So in this gentle twist, can you sink more towards the earth on an exhale as you rise up and create space on an inhale? So just noticing here. Good, and slowly come back to center. 
Let's raise that left arm up, take it over to the right, reach back behind, look over the back shoulder. And getting really grounded, continue to feel that connection of your sits bones with the earth. And on an inhale, creating space. On an exhale, softening towards the earth. And let's slowly unwind. Good. Let's bring ourselves to hands and knees. And we're going to bring the toes to touch, knees out nice and wide. Sit back towards your heels into child's pose. And you can stack your hands underneath your forehead if you need that. Bring your forehead down all the way to the earth or on a pillow or supported hands. And then on an exhale, we're going to start to sink our hips, grounding towards the earth. So inhale, expanding the back body. And then exhale, sinking the hips a little bit more to the ground. Notice our connection with the tops of the feet and the shins, the knees on the earth. And feeling very heavy in the space fully supported by the ground below you. We'll start to invite the breath into the back body. Take an inhale and expand. On an exhale, sinking the chest more towards the earth, maybe adjusting the upper body a little as we release and soften. Work with your breath on your own a few more times. And then with every exhale, just letting go, releasing any tension in the body and the mind. Let's do three more breaths on our own, inhaling through the nose. Big exhale out the mouth. Do it again. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Good. Come up onto hands and knees for a moment. Good. Extending the left leg all the way back behind us, just opening up the leg. And then we'll switch sides. Right leg extends back behind. Good, let's bring the feet and knees to touch. So one of the most important parts of the body that are grounding almost every point during the day is our feet. So we really need to open up the base and bottoms of the feet in order to feel that connection with the earth. So we're gonna curl the toes under, sit back a little bit and spread the toes out nice and wide, even the pinky toe, we'll do it on the other side. So it may feel very intense for you if you never open up the bottom of your feet, especially when we're in shoes all day. So I invite you to bring and lean a little bit more on your hands. But if you want to bring a little bit more openness, you can walk the hands up and put the full weight towards the heels. So the bottom of the feet are totally open. And then on an exhale, we're softening towards the earth. Yeah. So when we open up the bottoms of the feet, it spreads the bones of the foot out nice and wide so we can ground down even more and feel grounded in our day-to-day -day lives. So really good practice to do little by little as you work into opening the feet. Let's take a few breaths here. And exhale. Good, inhale through the nose. Exhale, feel the energy sinking towards the earth. One more breath. And exhale. Good, come back to hands and knees. Point the toes and tap the feet up. Great, let's move on to our belly. So we'll slide the legs back and come all the way down onto the belly, stack the hands and rest your forehead on your hands. Separate your feet nice and wide out to the corners of the mat. Roll your heels wide and press your pelvis down. So feeling very grounded in the lower body. We're going to come up onto the forearms, 
Elbows point back, palms face down. And it's gonna feel like your lower body is so grounded that when we activate the upper body, we're almost separating the two parts. So feel like the elbows are dragging back. Your front chest, the belly moves forward, the legs, the hips, the tops of the feet stay behind. So we're tractioning out the spine. Good. Be here for a few minutes. Really press the pelvis into the mat. The legs are firmly supported on the ground. And just take a few breaths here. You can tuck the chin, let the head hang, open up the back of the neck. And again, just lengthening those legs, supporting them on the earth. Good, and then we'll slowly lower all the way down. Just relax the heels nice and wide. Let's roll over onto our backs for a moment. So you can have the feet planted. And then let's bring the feet and knees to touch. We'll let the knees fall open. So the legs are part of the root chakra. So we're going to allow them to feel very heavy, falling more towards the earth. You can bring your arms along your side. Knees are open. Legs are heavy. Relax your low belly. Soften your face. Gently close the eyes. And we use gravity to open up and lengthen the muscles, the tendons. And with every exhale, surrendering the legs, letting go of gripping. We'll do that a few more breaths. Surrendering, just allowing the legs to feel very heavy over time, moving towards the earth. Let's take two more breaths here. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more breath in through the nose. Exhale, surrendering. Slowly bring the knees back to center. Good. And then lengthen the legs all the way down below. So one of the best ways to feel grounded is to connect your entire body with the earth. So if you have the opportunity to just lay down on a hard surface, we're going to do our final resting pose. The outside of my feet are rolled, connecting with the earth, the calves, the hips, shoulder blades, the backs of the arms. Gently close the eyes and just feel your connection with the earth. With every exhale, sinking deeper. Your system is fully supported. Your body and mind are safe to release and let go. start to make small movements with the fingers and the toes, rolling the ankles and the wrists. Good. Hug the knees into the chest and roll over to one side. We'll make our way all the way up to seated. 
We're just going to finish with a little breath work that focuses on the exhale. The exhale is very grounding. So on the exhale, we'll be sending our energy from the top of the crown of the head all the way down through our system and grounding down with our roots out to the earth. Gently close the eyes and start to invite your breath in a little more fully. We're going to do a nice long inhale all the way up to the top of the breath. And on an exhale, just visualize the energy from the crown of the head moving through the body, out the tailbone, sending our roots into the earth. From that stability, inhale, rising up. And then exhale, follow your energy through your body, deep into the ground. We'll do a few more breaths just like that. gently relax your concentration. We'll bring the hands to heart center, bow the mind to the heart, and just thank yourself for being in this space, bringing some nourishment to your body and mind. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Kim Goyette, your meditation mother. If you like this video, drop a comment. Let me know how you feel after taking the class. And if you want to be the first to receive weekly videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when the next video comes out. If you want to learn about yoga retreats happening all around the world, please check out my website at www.meditationmutha.com. Thanks so much. See you next time.